Hi Wife and Fam, my name is Candice Thurston, founder and chief executive of Candy & Co. And today I'm part of hashtag gotta ask why fam with your hair questions. So the first one is, what can I use to soften the knots or ends of my natural hair? So many of you might know that the key reason that your knots are happening is because you've got split ends. So split ends basically mean that you have to have a trim of your hair because that will obviously prevent more knots. And that will obviously mean that if you use conditioners and you use moisturizers, your hair is going to absorb it much more. What you can also do is follow our wash day steps, which is very big on detangling your hair. So use a leave-in conditioner like Mazani Miracle Milk and basically um, use your hands to basically detangle your hair. What's also nice is you can use a protective style after doing your wash day and basically plait it right till the end of your hair so you prevent having those knots. But generally, if you are gonna leave your natural hair out, whether it's an afro, whether it's a type two or three curly hair, if you're gonna sleep, the friction when you're sleeping is gonna also cause knots. So try to use a silk scarf when you're actually going to sleep at night or even during the day now that you're in COVID-19. So really the five top things is one, try to get a trim to get, to get rid of your split ends. Number two, try to use a detangler to um, do your hair. Number three, try to do finger brushing on your hair. Number four, do a protective style like plaiting or even um, cornrows. And number five, try to use a silk scarf to sleep with or keep it on during the day. So the second question is, guys, I've been cutting my hair for almost seven years until just last week when I decided to plait my hair because there's no place I can cut my hair during this lockdown, but it's so itchy now, what can I do? So there's many reasons that can cause an itchy scalp. The first thing is when you actually did the braids, what shampoo conditioner did you use? What could have possibly happened is that your scalp is dry and when the pulling is happening with your braids, that causes a type of tension that creates the itchiness of the scalp. The second thing could be that it is winter, so our scalp and our hair is getting very dry at the moment, so that's why and that's um, your, your scalp is, is actually itchy. And the third thing could possibly be is are you using a different type of product that you haven't used on your scalp before? Um, or are you sleeping on different kind of linen that has different determinants? in that could be impacting your scalp. So think about what has happened in the last few weeks to create the itchiness. Um, what can you do to prevent the hair? One, give your hair a good wash. Um, with your braids on, um, just try to obviously dry your hair um, to make sure it's not too wet and then get some sort of scalp lotion. Um, the scalp lotion shouldn't be um, a too thick of a petroleum jelly hair food or oil moisturizing lotion. Get something that is more oil based and something that's going to penetrate your scalp. Um, tea tree oil is a really nice oil to use and um, obviously from Candy & Co. if you want to get any of the Mazani products, they've got an amazing Mazani scalp lotion that you can use to basically basically uh, base your scalp. So really do a good wash, do a good conditioner of your scalp and then put in a leave-in scalp lotion. Uh, we all also have quite a few scalp products from Design Essentials um, that we can provide to assist with the, with the itchiness of your scalp. So our third question is, how do I do my own treatment at home? So. Um, for your hair, it's not just about going in and doing a treatment. You need to do the TLC wash day, which is detangling of your hair, shampooing of your hair, then a treatment, which can be a mask, and then a leave-in conditioner or curl activator, and then obviously a protective style or styling that you that you want to do. If you want to know what the best treatments are, um, obviously you have shampoo and conditions, but if you want a deep treatment, go for a mask. A mask that is high in protein, specifically because we in... Um, in winter right now, your hair and your scalp needs more moisture. And basically what you want, generally want to do with your treatment once you've followed all the steps is try to put your treatment on, put it into a shower cap and try to steam your hair because that will really make sure that the product is going into your cuticles and really, really um, giving your hair some, some moisture because it is thirsty during this time. Um, if you don't have any masks available, um, you can basically go into any of your pharmacies or you can order from um, Candy & Co. My favorite mask at the moment is the clay mask from Mazani. Depending on your hair type, for hair type 1 and 2, Moroccan oil also has amazing masks that are great for your hair. 
The fourth question we have is how do I keep my head growing in the same direction as I have short hair? So this is a bit of a difficult one because we cannot really change the direction that your hair is going to grow. What you can change is basically making it more manageable when you're brushing your hair or when you're styling your hair. So the key thing about short hair is lots of women think that you don't need to use any product because it's short. That is very incorrect. You need to follow the same wash day techniques that even a girl with long afro or long hair has. Make sure you're doing a shampoo, a deep conditioner and mask, brushing your short hair out with a, with a wide tooth comb like this or even a tangle teaser like this um, to really basically brush out the hair because if your hair is short and growing in different directions it's generally going to get quite tangled so you basically need to really use your fingers to get that hair um, basically being able to brush and um, once salons open if you want to have more manageability there's lots of non-chemical um, treatments that you can do your hair the one called afro keratin from Enoa and the other one called STS from design essentials so those will help you kind of just lengthen your curl that's going to enable you to manage your hair much better but i think the key tip when you have short hair make sure that you're conditioning and brushing as much as when your hair is much longer and also ensure that you're going to also put some scalp lotions into your hair to make sure your scalp doesn't get dry another question that we have is i wash my hair thoroughly weekly if not every second week but i still have dandruff so there's lots of different things that can affect the health of your scalp. Um, dandruff is generally something that is created, um, which looks, it's a bit of a yellowy color and quite oily. Sometimes what happens with dandruff is you have to get a shampoo that's an anti-dandruff bacterial shampoo. I would advise going to a pharmacy to find something that specifically looks after dandruff because dandruff is very different to dry scalp. What you do find in type 3 and type 4 hair, and that's curly and coily hair, is that it's generally dry scalp. The reason that the dry scalp is there is because it's either winter or there's been products that have been used that are actually drying out your scalp. So figure out whether you have a dandruff issue or you have dry scalp because that's going to assist you in what products you need to use. So as I said, dandruff is generally something if you touch it, it's quite oily and has a yellowy color. If it's Dry scalp, it's generally very flaky and dry, basically. So if you are suffering with dandruff, as I said, get a shampoo that is going to deal with the bacteria that is causing the dandruff from the pharmacy. If you're looking at dry scalp issues, you need to be able to get a proper shampoo and conditioner that has more of moisturizing agents. Try something that doesn't have any para parabens in, no silicones in, and no sulfates in, because that is going to dry out your scalp more. And get a root treatment or a scalp treatment that is basically going to moisturize your scalp. But you have to wash your scalp probably more often to prevent the the dryness and the itchiness and then you have to use a scalp lotion as i mentioned we have my favorite scalp products are the mazani scalp lotion and the uh, design essential scalp tonics um, when our salons open up again my advice would be to go for a hair consultation to actually understand what is going on with your scalp um, if you want to spoil yourself even more the moroccan oil dry scalp oil is really nice because it's a daily treatment so to look after your scalp do more washing probably twice a week make sure you're moisturizing with a high moisture conditioner and mask and make sure you have a scalp lotion if you're battling to find that again tea tree oil is quite a nice oil to use as well as some castor oil make sure you're staying away from any scalp product that is very high in petroleum jelly and very high in any kind of lotions because that basically is just going to sit on your scalp and create more itchiness so allow your scalp to breathe by washing it properly and then use products that are going to penetrate into the into the roots of your scalp and really create a healthy scalp lastly make sure you're doing styles that are not going to aggravate your scalp so stay away from heat for now because the heat is going to aggravate and dry the scalp more and before you go to bed try to do your scalp lotions or moisturizers because it's really going to assist in improving your scalp how do i activate my curls um, and what products do i use so i love this question because i've recently learned how learned how to activate my curls um, i always knew i had wavy hair or i had some sort of curl but i battled because it would get dry and it wouldn't look nice and quite like fluffy um, the key thing with activating your curls there's not one magic product that's actually going to get you there 
it is a mix by how are you basically um, looking after and styling your hair what are the systems you're following and the second thing is the product again following the five day tlc wash day is the best way to do it so one detangle your hair with a conditioner to use your fingers whilst you're detangling um, try to use like a tangle teaser or a um a, a wide tooth comb then shampoo your hair make sure you're shampooing your hair in this direction and not like this rinse your, your shampoo off then do a deep mask or treatment into your hair try to partition it into spaces and make it into little buns or even just leave it into your hair put a shower cap on let that treatment get into your hair rinse your hair and then put in um, a leave-in conditioner or you can use a curl activator so if you install look for products that are high in moisture that will say curl activator and a leave-in conditioner i find that if you use the two products you basically will get quite a nice curl definition depending on your curl type if you're curl two or three what you can do is use this sort of movement to style your curls if you do have um, an afro um, texture your curl activator you normally can use a tangle teaser to brush your hair out and then your curls will basically get styled do a protective style on your hair like little cornrows plaits or buns and that will basically activate your curl quite nicely whilst your hair is in your protective style you can use some oils on your hair um, you can do some leave-in conditioners on your hair to really activate it um, what's sometimes difficult with your curls is in day two or day three or day four you see that your curls are basically being lost um, again Mazani Marika Milk is one of my faves which you can spray it and basically activate the curl again and when you go to bed at night make sure you plait your hair or put your hair into a pineapple which is basically doing that and then possibly scrunching your hair and then using a silk scarf so that when you wake up the next day your curls are still there um, so play with your hair but make sure that from your detangling to your styling you're following the step-by-step -step process of moisture curls want moisture hair wants moisture so a lot of water uh, what also works as a small tip is when you come out of the shower make sure your hair is dripping wet do not dry it and then put all of your product in try to use a t-shirt or a fiber towel to really scrunch your hair up and try to stay away from towels good luck with your curls so one of the most popular questions I get asked is how do I prevent hair loss? How do I get my hair to grow? Um, and it's also one of the most difficult questions to answer. So there are a few things that causes hair loss and the number one thing is generally something that is hormonal. So one, it could be stress, it could be age, um, it could be weather that basically cause hair loss. So hair loss is something where you actually see the hair falling off from your scalp. Remember, Every day you lose about 100 to 200 strands of hair a day. So that's natural to see. But what you'll also notice when you're having hair loss is you're basically seeing more of your scalp. So then you know that your hair loss is from your scalp. If it is any kind of genetic or hormonal issues, there's not really many products that can stop that hair loss. And you generally need to go see your doctor or pharmacy to get more advice. If you've noticed that your hair basically is falling, but there's not really big patches on your hair, there's lots of products that can prevent um, that hair loss, or you can basically stimulate the hair loss. There's something with Mazani called Miracle Length, and there's another product by Redken called Cerafil that we've seen amazing results from. So when you use these products, you basically use a few drops a day onto your scalp, and then basically that will um, stop the hair loss from your from your hair and basically open up your your the roots of your hair and stimulate um, hair growth. A second thing is when your hair is breaking from here, people think it's hair loss, but it's not. It's just that your hair is dry, you have split ends, and the hair is basically breaking because of possibly brushing, sleeping, the weather, etc. So to prevent dry hair and breakage make sure you're moisturizing your hair make sure you're washing your hair and when you're doing your washing you're doing a lot of masks so the key thing is guys have very good oils have very good leave-in conditioners have um, very good kind of scalp products that you need to really prevent the hair from breaking and the and your and your hair loss 
Thirdly, there are some mechanical styles that do prevent hair loss, specifically very tight braids and cornrows. So, so guys, be very strict on who's doing your hair when they're doing their braids. You do not want to braid your hair from your baby hairs. You want to leave about a millimeter of hair out because this is the crown of your hair. It is the most sensitive, gentle hair on your scalp so try to start your hair braids from about a millimeter to two millimeters back don't do very very thin braids i know it looks beautiful but it will damage your hair it will pull the hair out of your scalp if you feel any tension at the back of your hair and around your hair rather take some hair out or ask your stylist to redo the plaque so there's no tension in your hair number one rule is if you're feeling any headaches if you can't sleep, your braids are too tight and you are going to lose hair. We know many people that have had receding hairline because of the pulling and because it's too tight. If you get somebody that really knows how to do braids, they should be able to do braids where there's no tension and it's still gonna last you. And lastly, if you're going to be doing weaves and wigs as well and you're using any glues to your hair make sure you're not putting the glue onto your hair because that is going to pull your hair out make sure you're not leaving the glue into your wigs for too long because that will clog up the pores on your scalp therefore breaking the hair and not allowing the hair to to grow so really important that you're understanding what styling you're doing to your hair that might cause the hair loss um, on your scalp and and on your hair and then lastly, when you're looking at hair loss and, and hair growth, try to do um, a few cuts on your hair. So if you have split ends, etc., cut them off because that's also going to break off um, whilst you, you're, styling, you're styling your hair. So in summary, guys, for hair loss, really understand whether it's hormonal or whether it's something that's quite mechanical from how you're styling your hair. And then try to understand what medication you might need or what product you might need. Good luck with your hair growth journey. The next question is from one of my favorite styles, which is dreadlocks. And the question is, how do I keep my dreadlocks healthy and how do I prevent them from getting dry? So I think the one mistake people make when it comes to dry dreadlocks is sometimes they use too many products to try to get the, the dreadlocks moisturized. That doesn't work because you're basically just putting products on top of each other that's just gonna dry out your hair more. It's about using the right product in the right quantity. So the first thing is you need a soft sulfate free shampoo and conditioner that is very high in moisture which is going to moisturize both your scalp and your dreads as I mentioned make sure it has lots of moisture in sulfates are basically salt so that's going to dry to here so try not to use that and then try to get an oil that is very very moisturizing like an argan oil even a coconut coconut oil can be used um, whilst you're doing your conditioning your conditioning elements um, secondly i love the ladine dreadlocks range which basically has a spray it has a molding gel and it has a shampoo we've seen amazing results from all our dreadlock clients with regards to um, dreadlocks um, also a key thing is make sure that you're drinking a lot of water because sometimes you forget how our internal body affects our external body specifically our hair and because we know we basically have hair that's made out of moisture and made out of protein uh, make sure you're eating all your protein to keep your hair really moisturized um, if you have a scalp problem use a scalp lotion because we know that because you have dreads on it possibly could be taking up all the moisture from your scalp to try to moisturize the hair so make sure you are looking after your scalp so less is more when it comes to dreads just make sure you're doing a good moisture shampoo and conditioner using an oil and also leave-in conditioner specifically for dreads or braids thank you iphone fam for all those questions hopefully i got to answer everything that you need to know about hair if there's anything else you need to know you're welcome to follow us on all our social media platforms on instagram twitter and facebook at, at candy and co salon that's candy with an i and you can watch all our webinars on our youtube page which is candy tv what's also exciting is during the covid 19 process we are also going to be delivering lots of our products to your home as we've been approved for essential products all you got to do is follow any of our store instagram pages or even our instagram pages or reach out to us on info at candyandco.co.za to find out how you can order your products so you have no excuses not to have the right products and no excuses for you to look after your crowning glory this is candace thurston signing off for yfm gotta ask mm -hmm.